What's up guys, I'm Sean. Today I'm going to be installing this solid brass brake guide pins. It's supposed to help minimize caliper flex on the rear calipers. <laughs> Because I'm already running the front big brake kit, I want to maximize my rear non-big brake kit. I'm running PFC race pads, cross-drilled floating rotors from the competition package in 3, ECS stainless steel brake lines, upgraded fluid. The solid brass guide pins should finish it off. So here are the tools you need, a couple of screwdrivers to remove the clip on the caliper, 7mm allen key, the same thing with a cheater tool sir clip tool brake lube brake cleaner scotch pad or sandpaper and pliers we're going to remove this caliper clip from the caliper we won't need this anymore since we're running the solid brass pins and we're going to pop off the covers in the back to get access to the stock pins since the strut's in the way, I'm using a 7mm Allen key with my cheater tool and I'm going to break it loose. And now I'm going to use my 7mm hex tool and I'm going to just spin it loose and remove the stock pins. And then we're going to pull off the caliper and remove the brake pads. So here are the stock rubber bushings that we're going to remove and we're just going to pull them out with some pliers. And the stock rubber bushings are very soft. It could lead to some caliper twists, uneven pad wear, whereas the brass fittings are solid. No caliper twists, even pad wear, solid feel. Now we're going to clean the hose out with scotch pad or some sandpaper. And use some brake clean. Now we're going to lube the brass fittings before we install them into the calipers. So the sir clip side goes towards the inside of the car, the flange side goes towards the brake rotor. Once it's all lubed up, we install it into the caliper. It goes in smoothly and you can see that it sits flush. Now we're going to install the sir clip. The sir clip snaps into its groove. So now we're going to install the one on the other side. Same process, a little bit of lube for the bushings, goes in smoothly, flush, saw the circlet. Now we're going to start putting things back together. Reinstall the brake pads, snap the inside pad into the piston, outside pad sits there, slide the calipers back on top. Now we're going to loop the new pins that came with the kit. So the brass bushing and the pins should both be lubricated. Now we're going to install the pins. Do the same for the one on the bottom. We're going to use our 7mm allen key to tighten them down. I'm going to torque both of these to 22 foot pounds. And that's pretty much done. You won't need this clip anymore because the idea is that the caliper is not going to flex with the solid brass fittings. So we should be good to go. We just got to do the other side. So this solid brass bushing kit is really designed for track cars where there's a lot of caliper flex during hard braking. Replacing the rubber bushings with this brass bushings should give you a consistent feel and also even brake pad wear. The only downside is you have to re-lubricate them every now and then. I'm looking forward to trying these out on track in a couple weeks. 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.